I'm Cedric Layden. I'm a retired U.S. Air Force Colonel and I served in every capacity, almost every capacity in the intelligence community. I worked combat operations uh, for Iraqi Freedom and then at NSA I was responsible for uh, training for its uh, not only signals intelligence warriors but also its cyber warriors. The state of cybersecurity is a really dangerous area right now because cybersecurity has so many components to it and there's so little knowledge in terms of how to actually fix and mitigate the threats that are out there. And there's no way that the standard antivirus suites and the standard firewalls can actually keep track of all of that and have a meaningful, really deterrent effect on any of these uh, different variants that are out there. It means that every business and even every individual is vulnerable to cyber attacks today. It becomes very important to weave in solutions such as cipher clouds because right now there is no adequate policy from the federal government to address this issue. Uh, certainly state governments are powerless to deal with it. They have certain rules and they have certain requirements, but uh, they're in a reactive mode. They're not in a proactive mode. Many small and medium-sized businesses really don't understand and the, the big issues surrounding cybersecurity, and often they become the vulnerable points on the global network of, that is the internet. Uh, for example, uh, when you look at the target breach, uh, one of the ways in which the target system was accessed was through a heating and air conditioning contractor. And that heating and air conditioning contractor had access to Target's network uh, because it was easier for them to do their job if they had access to the network. And we have to think about things like that. Do we give people unfettered access to the network if their networks are not as secure as ours? And if that's the case, I would strongly urge companies to really spend a lot of time, look at their architecture, look at solutions such as cipher clouds because they are going to be very important to securing data and making sure that that data only goes to the intended recipient and not to anybody else. I think one of the key things about securing our nation's infrastructure is to realize that our system of what they call uh, supervisory control and data acquisition systems or SCADA systems, those systems are very vulnerable because they were built with the idea of running a plant, uh, like a manufacturing plant, uh, but they weren't built with the idea of securing the data that goes through the system. And that's what people are talking about when they say we got to secure our critical infrastructure. Our power plants, our refineries, the power grid itself, all of that is exceptionally vulnerable because we have not thought about securing it from the start. You need to find a way to bake in security that can evolve as the threats evolve. And that's going to be, I think, the next challenge for the cybersecurity industry. But I'm very confident that companies like CypherCloud can do something in that regard so that the infrastructure can be protected the way it needs to be protected.